Hi. Uh, so let us continue with our uh, introduction to AS400. This is the second video in the series of uh, what is AS400. So in the first video, we uh, looked at actually what uh, AS400 is. Is it a physical machine? Is it a software? So uh, watch this. We will now move to the second topic. Uh, which is uh, what is the difference between AS400 and cloud? So the issue here is that uh, these days everything is hosted on the cloud. All applications, all softwares, all uh, business applications, all backends, all REST APIs, any kind of services, everything is hosted on cloud services like AWS, Google Cloud, uh, Microsoft Azure, and so on. So now when we uh, are working on AS400, so we must understand uh, where does AS400 uh, fit uh, into the ecosystem when we uh, look at uh, the other systems which are designed using the cloud. So uh, there are basically uh, two general types of systems if we look at it today. Uh, the first is uh, the basic monolithic or a single uh, server node system uh, where you have a dedicated server and the dedicated server takes in all the requests which are coming in through all the applications and it serves all the applications so the sole server itself is responsible for uh, serving all the uh, needs of the clients so everything depends on this main server so uh, that is a monolithic application hosted on a uh, monolithic system. So then you also have distributed systems. Uh, so in distributed systems, you have more than one servers. So uh, everything does not depend on one server here, but it is divided into like uh, four or five or more than uh, more than one server basically. So in distributed systems, you have the core system which is distributed across multiple server nodes and uh, the load is then balanced and it is given to uh, different servers to work upon. Um, yeah, so that so these are the two types of uh, systems. First would be the uh, basic monolithic system, and uh, second is distributed system. So when uh, cloud came, uh, cloud offered dynamic scaling, dynamic compute scaling, dynamic resource management, uh, storage. Uh, you can increase, decrease storage as per your needs when the need comes in at that time you can increase your cpu uh, you can scale down when there is no need you can scale up when there is requirement so with cloud you use uh, so if so if, if you imagine yourself as a corporation uh, so if you are a corporation let's say you are a bank and uh, you have your own backend systems to run uh, but now when you uh, look at the cloud system from the perspective of a bank uh, if you look at the benefits of a cloud system uh, you do not need to own your own servers you do not need to take care of the infrastructure you do not need to maintain the hardware uh, it is done for you by big companies uh, big cloud companies like azure uh, like microsoft azure or like google cloud or amazon aws so you give your uh, code or you give your business logic uh, could be in a compiled format uh, you do not need to give the source code but then you uh, take their servers on the rent and you use these servers dynamically you pay these companies and uh, you get to use their resources so now how does as400 compare with cloud so as400 was uh, or it has been used for many years as a monolithic system so what I mean by that is uh, that is AS400 is the core only system uh, which runs as a standalone server and it is responsible for serving the needs of all the clients. So the client will log on to AS400 or the request will come on AS400 and AS400 uh, machine will then take on those requests and uh, it will take on the responsibility of uh, working on the requirements or working on the request and it will give the result back to the client which asked for uh, the request uh, so that is how as400 is still mostly used in um, like more than 90 percent of the cases 
or I can even say 99% of the cases. Uh, everywhere, if you look at examples of where AS Coronator is used, it is used in the back end uh, of uh, certain corporations, big corporations like banks, investment banks. It is used as back end of insurance companies. It is used as back end of uh, logistics uh, maintenance. It is used as back end for uh, delivery services, back ends of examples like airports or uh, hubs. Uh, where a lot of uh, transactions happen, uh, data needs to be maintained. So currently how AS400 is used is as a uh, monolithic uh, architecture kind of uh, system. And it uh, is very different from a cloud-like architecture which uh, scales dynamically or uh, your code would be deployed into Lambda functions which get executed only when a request comes in. Till that time, there is no server. So no server. Uh, function only hosting so as 400 is very different compared to cloud but then if you look at the uh, uh, requirements or the modern systems the requirement of the modern systems uh, these requirements now has uh, compelled the cloud providers to uh, provide as 400 on their systems so if you look at news from two years ago so in january 14 uh, 2020 uh, Google Cloud has announced that IBM Power Systems is now available on their cloud servers. So apart from Google Cloud, IBM itself, uh, so IBM, uh, which maintains and develops AS400, IBM itself uh, has AS400 now on the cloud. And if you visit their websites, uh, you'll see that they provide flexible uh, CPU utilization and uh, flexible workloads and other functionalities. So the modernization age has reached uh, the legacy systems as well so as to say and uh, now as 400 is also uh, available on the clouds uh, on the cloud systems so when you're working on as 400 and if you're thinking that uh, as we discussed in our last video that this is a separate machine which runs the back end of your code and uh, if you look at your friends or colleagues who are working in other corporations, other companies who are working in uh, Java or Python or, uh, or they are working as back-end or front-end designers of the websites and uh, they test their websites using Google Chrome and they test their softwares on the internet. Uh, so when you compare your uh, workload, which is in black and green screen, you might think that uh, uh, we are still using a very old system, uh, which is no longer maintained or uh, which has no future or it is like 60 years old now why am i working on such an old system so you must understand uh, that although the uh, the look and feel will uh, look old to you like it uh, the the user interface is uh, black and green but it does not mean that uh, there has been no progress or there has been no modernization on the as400 or ibmi uh, in fact, uh, IBM I, which runs on uh, IBM Power Systems, uh, if you look at the latest uh, specifications of the power processor, so if you look at Power 9 or Power 10 system configurations, you will see, you will be shocked to see that uh, the performance of these systems of Power 9 and Power 10 and the technology which is uh, used behind it. So by technology, I mean that the uh, processor transistor size which is measured in nanometers so ibm has been on the forefront of uh, developing the most advanced processors uh, very fast processors which even beat the server uh, cpus which are you uh, which are developed by intel or amd so if you researched on the internet and if you compare the ibm power 10 processor and if you compare it with uh, intel's xeon processor or if you compare it with uh, Ryzen's uh, server processor lineup, you'd see that IBM is uh, quite ahead in terms of competition, uh, in, co in terms of competition related to technological advancement uh, when it comes to developing the hardware as well as the software behind AS400. So you will hear this a lot of times uh, from a lot of people in the industry that uh, you're working on, uh, you are working on a legacy system uh we should look at modern uh, 
system development although that is true uh, but as 400 is uh, not the old as 400 it used to be it is still at the core of a lot of industries it is still being highly developed uh, new versions of the as 400 operating system are uh, being released and um, the hardware as well is at the edge cutting edge of the server processor uh, race uh, so if you see the features of power 10 processor chip you'll see that a lot of things are uh, equivalent or even uh, better than the latest uh, intel and amd server uh, lineup which is available um, so you should stay away from uh, feeling down that uh, you're working in an age-old technology uh, people will say that it does not have any future to it your career growth is limited and so on uh, if you look properly there is a lot of development happening uh, in the back end of when it comes to hardware on where AS400 is hosted uh, it is now hosted on cloud as well so corporations can now directly take uh, the benefit of using AS400 on the cloud new companies can have easy access to cloud AS400 as well as companies which already have invested in AS400 hardware, they are still buying and purchasing new versions. So Power 9, Power 10 and so on. So, uh, so the difference if you uh, look at the difference between AS400 and cloud. So this is uh, not a correct question to ask. These are not different. So this being a server it was earlier available as a standalone application or standalone uh, hardware unit which was serving all the clients but is also now migrating or has migrated to the cloud uh, and some clients would already be uh, using it so we discussed about the difference uh, we discussed about the past usage of as400 and in future how it will be used so in future as a lot of companies are going to the cloud as 400 also is most likely to slowly adapt and uh, be part of uh, cloud uh, access or the cloud uh, platforms which the cloud companies provide so coming to users uh, users of as 400 we talked about where as 400 is used uh, we discussed that it is used in the back end of uh, large corporations uh, usually for transaction processing high speed transaction processing wherever it is required as it has dedicated hardware it has dedicated processors for uh, input and output so the input and output speed is extremely fast uh, with AS400 so there is almost no lag no delay uh, which we observe with uh, other systems so this is a specially uh, special built uh, system or special purpose system AS400 which is built for transaction processing systems so we discussed about its uses uh, being used in um, airlines or logistics insurance backends bank systems and uh, wherever you can imagine where transaction uh, uh, records would be required to be updated on a rapid place uh, also AS400 uh, it being IBM I now it also allows you to host web servers so you can even host websites you can host uh, REST API services and uh, you can also host email services so modern IBM I supports almost all of your uh, usual server needs so that is all for today's video thank you